Hey, good morning. And this morning I'm going riding. Got nothing to do today, so I'm gonna go ride my motorbikes. I got a little Honda 100. I'm gonna just take that out and exercise it, and then I've got my uh, CRF 250, that I'm gonna go tear around it. And, of course, I gotta wear my protective gear. So I'm a big fan of Thor products. Not sponsored, of course, but this is my Thor helmet, which I really love. I got uh, some Fox gloves in there, in my little case, of course, along with my Fox clothing. And of course, my Thor boots. I love these things. I just bought these things. Awesome. Awesome. And of course, I got my Titan knee sliders, Camelback, all my GoPro gadgets, my Liet body protection, body armor. This thing's totally awesome. All set to ride, man. Let's do it. This is a problem. I just stopped on the side of the road. And guess what happened? This thing is gone. Look at that. Put my fingers right in there. Uh, and guess what? Of course, of course, as face would have it, my spare. My spare is low on air. So not only do I got a flat, but I don't have a good spare and I wasn't prepared. Not exactly the way I was planning to spend my day. What a part of the adventure, right? <sighs> Go figure that's gonna happen, right? Flat tire in the middle of nowhere, really far out here in the desert, as you can see. Now the closest petrol station for any help is 20 kilometers up the road. And that's where I'm limping off to. Because, unfortunately for me, the uh, spare tire is low on air. And even if it wasn't low on air, I don't have the tools to take it off the mount. The tools that I do have fit my car, but they do not fit the trailer spare tire. And after all these years, I've never even checked that because I've never had this problem. Complacency, right? Complacency since he killed a cat. Can I start a new saying? <laughs> anyway, that's, it is what it is. I'll limp off to the petrol station, get it fixed, and hopefully I can get a little ride in today. Something. Because this is not exactly how I expected to spend my day. My 
spare tire, you know, was a mess. And I discovered that it was flat as well, so I couldn't replace it. So now I had to actually park my trailers off the road. I went to a petrol station to fix my spare tire. And now my spare tire is fixed. I can replace the broken tire on my trailer. Because uh, one thing that you should all be aware of, these tires are from 2011, never been replaced. So it's no wonder they broke. And it's no wonder the valves are bad and no wonder the rubber's bad, no, no wonder everything's bad. So let that be a lesson to you. Make sure you have new, your tires replaced, even if they're good, because the tires are actually good. The treads on them are great. I don't think I've driven more than 100 kilometers on these tires on that trailer, maximum. But, ta-da, they are 2011, and now it's 2020. So, old tires, that's what happens. So now it's here parked in the dirt, and what I'm gonna have to do is I am going to hopefully change the spare tire out and get this thing on the road. Won't have the, the ride, it won't go to the places that I wanted to go, uh, but, I'll leave that for next time. At least I can do a little right. Still okay. Well, all right, there you have it. Tires changed, rock and roll. These tires are really old. I don't know how long they're gonna last, but I've got about 20 kilometers to go to where I wanna go riding. So it'll be fine till then, but the problem is I gotta go all the way back. And uh, I'll drive a little bit slower, I guess, and see how it goes. But I need to buy some new tires. Awesome, let's go do, let's go do some riding. Ah. That was a killer ride. I had a killer ride. I'm sorry I didn't see any of it. You know, with uh, the flat tire and uh, a few of the other things that happened to me along the way here, I was a little bit behind uh, schedule because I don't have that much time today. And uh, I was uh, I was in a rush, basically. I didn't mount my cameras properly, so the cameras were just flailing about. And uh, to be honest, I had my hands full with these bikes. You know, I haven't ridden these things in five years or more, and. Uh, you know, I was just rip, rip tearing around out there and I really had my hands full just controlling myself and not falling off and killing myself. <laughs> so I didn't get any footage, I didn't even turn any of the cameras on, besides from right now. Sorry about that. But next time I go out, we'll get some good footage, we'll do something, we'll have a bit of fun. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching though. Thanks very much.